We previously talked about dark academia. Let's revisit that world and talk about five more fountain pens that are perfect for this aesthetic. By the end of this video, I'll also tell you five ways that you can bring dark academia into your life and this wonderful fountain pen hobby of ours. Do you find yourself seeking the company of books? Do you feel at home in the stacks of libraries, perhaps perusing their pages for the ephemera left behind by other readers? Do you enjoy reading by candlelight? Do you think back on your days at university fondly? Visit ancient colleges when you are near them. Spend hours in a museum just for the sake of it. If so, you may be a fan of dark academia, an internet aesthetic that celebrates these things that luxuriates in the fashion and culture of learning. Writing is important for any intellectual pursuit, and that's why fountain pens are so important to this aesthetic. Let's talk about five more fountain pens for dark academia. My first choice is the Mont Blanc Egyptomania. This pen gloriously unites so many things under one amazing fountain pen. It is an homage to the Egyptomania craze of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Egyptology is always a focal point of dark academia with its many mysteries and long span of history. It is also made in a manner of vintage fountain pens, hailing back to Montblanc's earliest production models. Plus, it is full of esoteric symbols, with its sacred scarab on the clip and an embossed sacred scarab on its soft golden nib. The writing experience is incredibly unique and very enjoyable, giving you a sense of writing with something old and tied to many strands of study. This is an absolutely brilliant writer and a fine pen for dark academia. My second choice for today is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. This pen evokes the best of Italy. It is literally made from Italy itself. From the igneous rock around Mount Etna, that volcanic beacon dominating Sicily's east coast like a vengeful titan. The clip of this pen has the same arch as the support of Ponte Vecchio spanning the Arno River. Firenze itself an important center for the Renaissance in Italy. Its 18 karat gold rose gold nib is an exquisite writer, affording some of the best attributes of writing with a fine writing instrument. How many courses of study pass through Italian history? This makes it a perfect choice for dark 
academia, whether writing in Italian, English, or Latin. It is amazingly smooth. It is an esoteric writer that never fails to beguile or to inspire you. And that makes it a perfect choice for dark academia. My next choice is the Kaveco Bronze Sport. Bronze, that glistening resonant material that has comprised works of art from Rodin to the equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius. It becomes absolutely magical in the form of a fountain pen. Its size is perfect for travel to any far off destination. Handier still for pockets at the museum or library. Great for journaling, for writing the score of your next independent film, or a love note to the one that did in fact not get away. Kaveco nibs are smooth, lush, and reliable, making this a perfect pen for the hallowed halls of academia. Next up is a practical choice, but no less magical. The pilot vanishing point. That reassuring click, that convenient click, that glorious tiny 18 karat gold nib that's bouncy, wet, expressive, always there, always ready. It is the perfect pen for a scholar eager for a quick note, yet sacrificing nothing of the glorious writing experience of a regular fountain pen. The Con Forti converter is its Achilles heel, though, concealing its ink level and holding very little ink. I see this as an advantage, giving you an opportunity to swap and try various inks, and it's great for those of us who have a very short ink attention span. There is also that clip. It may be in a rather strange place, but once you get used to it, it becomes a nice anchor for your finger, and it makes it oh so convenient to clip it to an Oxford shirt or Tweety lapel, or to keep it handy in your purse or bag. The Pilot Vanishing Point is an absolutely brilliant choice for anyone who needs quick access to writing to further their studies. And this makes it perfect for dark academia.
My last choice is one of the finest fountain pens available anywhere at any price. The Pilot Custom 823. There are few fountain pens as precise and magnificent as the Pilot Custom 823. Its immense ink capacity, holding two and a half milliliters, gives you weeks of writing. Indulge into the deepest courses of study without worry of running out of ink or of being distracted by other pens. It is a singularly refined and as good as any pen on the market at any price. It also has a piston fill mechanism that is a delight for anyone mechanically inclined as it fills this pen with a dramatic whoosh of ink. Since it can seal off the feed, it is also brilliant for air travel, but don't let that limit you to planes. Use it to journal on trains, on the deck of a boat drifting slowly down the Nile, or anywhere else your adventures take you. This is a wonderful choice for dark academia. Would you like to immerse yourself into a world of libraries, old books, candles, and contemplation? Here are five ways to bring dark academia into your life. One of the best ways to bring the dark academic aesthetic into your life is to read a book in the dark academic genre. There are few things as immersive as books and few things that hold you within the confines of their worlds as long as they do. Here are some excellent book recommendations for the dark academic aesthetic. The Secret Histories by Donna Tartt, a Greek studies course gone mad. I guarantee this book will haunt you long after you finish it. I still miss those characters. Oh, Henry. The Cloister by Katie Hayes, a breezy read set at the cloisters in New York City. What if your dream museum job starts to spiral out of control? If We Were Villains by M. L. Rio. We are back at uni for this one. A group of pretentious drama students, Shakespeare, some bullying, and some very drunk people. What could possibly go wrong? Well, a murder could go wrong. That's what. Another way to bring dark academia into your life and to gain something from it is to study something obscure or esoteric. Learn hieroglyphics, how to read tarot, or to play the cello like Wednesday Adams. Be sure to keep a journal specific to each course of study to help you along. Let's bring the world of fountain pens even more into this. Another way to bring dark academia into your life 
is to study and emulate old-fashioned handwriting. A great way to learn how to write beautifully is to emulate those that did it best. Fine handwriting is held in very high esteem in the world of dark academia, the world at large, and in our fountain pen hobby. Look to the past in how to do it best. Another way to incorporate dark academia into your fountain pen hobby is to begin a healthy correspondence. Like the letter exchange I have with the Illuminati and Cognoscenti members of this channel. Handwrite your letters in an expressive loopy cursive or type them on a very old machine. Be sure to sign your missives boldly and add a vintage wax seal for emphasis. Perhaps the easiest way to embrace dark academia is to go find a wonderful museum or library to journal in. Just being around the smell of books or old things is so inspirational and is a huge part of dark academia. Whatever you do, just stay inspired and curious in this fountain pen hobby of ours or dark academia whatever it is that you are pursuing each course of study is another world waiting to be explored we are all libraries unto ourselves with all our experiences all our knowledges contained within Writing is a way to put this voice out into the world. One day we'll all be gone and there'll be nothing left except that voice we put out there. So let's develop more connections and extend our reach with this great community of ours. So what do you think of my choices for dark academic fountain pens? Do you have your own choices? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear what you think. Also, if you've made it this far in this video, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you along on this journey with us. Also, if you want to get more involved, membership is available. Come behind the scenes and see what's going on there. So I release new videos each week and I have a live show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I promise we will see each other again very soon further up the road. So take care.